Well, today is a big day for us here at ABC 10 as well as UC Davis Children's Hospital. It's the Children's Miracle Network Mediathon, and the phone number to donate is at the bottom of your screen right now. This is where I pause to look at the screen and see that it really is there. Now I can go on. Christina is at UC Davis Children's Hospital sharing the stories and the reasons to donate to a very worthy cause. And while Christina is saving the lives of kids, there's nothing more worthy than that. Absolutely. There's so many of us parents, you know, if our child is seriously injured or ill, we want to know that they're going to get the best possible care. And they get that here at UC Davis Medical Center and Children's Hospital. Uh, this is our power hour. We've kicked it off with our gracious sponsor, Taco Bell. And a lot of them are seated here behind me. They have been so gracious. They're going to match all donations throughout this entire hour. And listen to this. If you make a trip, and we know you do, to Taco Bell over the weekend through Sunday, they they're going to donate a portion of every purchase. So they are really stepping up for UC Davis Children's Hospital, and we can't thank them enough. As uh, people call in this hour, they will be matched for their donation. Now, I want to tell you about one of the kids that has received treatment here at UC Davis. Her name is Chanel. When she was 12 years old, she had a stroke. She's 14 years old now, and she is doing so much better thanks to not only the care that she got here at UC Davis Children's Hospital, but also the relationships that she formed with her doctors and nurses because she comes back to continue to get therapy. Let's take a look at her story. I was just completely, like, just laying down. No, no speaking. People came by. <clears throat> My mom had to help me go to the bathroom. Like, it was just difficulty. Like, I was a baby. Chanel had been healthy. She loved to do religious praise dances in her church. <laughs> When she was brought to UC Davis Children's Hospital after her stroke, she was in a wheelchair. I was sad. I was messed up. Like, I was completely mad. She needed more intensive therapy, so they thought that um, UC Davis Children Hospital would be the best place for her. Twelve can be a hard age. It's even harder if you've just had a stroke. Romy Villaluz, Chanel's physical therapist, remembers their first session together two years earlier. She was crying that day, I remember. And uh, she said, I can't walk. And I said, yes, you can. <laughs> and so uh, got up on the, in the hallway and uh, she stood up and took her first steps. And uh, now she's walking no brace. Romy said he had faith in Chanel, even when she just wanted to stay in her wheelchair. Oh, I knew she could do it. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what we do. We help people move again, and we get them back to their form of function if we can, or at, at the highest level that we can get them to. So um, I knew you, you were going to do it. You were like kicking me out of there. So I was like, oh, she's strong. Not only is Chanel walking again, she's back praise dancing. God has something for me, and I know it. While she still struggles with the why behind her stroke, Chanel's experience has made her want to help others. As she walks into high school this fall, she'll be working toward her goal of becoming a 911 dispatcher. I just want to get like a phone call and then like help it through it, like talk about it, and then okay, honey, and you're, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Hang in there. The coffee and the cops are gonna come. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I just want to do that. I really want to do that. I will do that. In Sacramento, Gabrielle Carroll, ABC 10 News. Just a beautiful story, and you know, all the way around, Chanel was affected. She came here and got excellent care, and now she may want to be a 911 operator when she grows up. So really, the medical care that she's received has had an impact on this young woman. This is the number to call to donate, one 719 kids You can call and donate right now, and you know what? It counts double this hour. It counts double. Anything you can give, because Taco Bell is going to match it for the next hour. And once again, if you go to Taco Bell over the weekend, they're kicking in even even more, anything you purchase at Taco Bell over the weekend, a portion of that purchase will also go to the Children's Miracle Network and UC Davis Children's Hospital. So we urge you to donate now if you can, give if you can, and we'll continue telling these great stories throughout the evening. Dale? The money stays right in our community, and it all helps. Yes. Christina, thanks. Talk to you a little bit later. All right.